We hear occasional gunshots around here from over in the apartments, but this is right, out, right outside our window. Fort Worth police say they don't know much after an elderly homeowner with a gun is shot and killed by officers responding to a burglary alarm across the street. I don't know why they were there. What I do know is that this is a horrible, horrible tragedy. The News Leader, broadcasting for all North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. Fort Worth police are trying to determine if that 72-year-old homeowner did something he shouldn't have or if officers made a mistake. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The shooting happened in the Woodhaven neighborhood where many people recently have been on guard because of dozens of break-ins in about the last year and a half's time. First on Fox 4 News tonight, Phil Alvarado is in our Fort Worth newsroom with more on this deadly shooting and the investigation. Phil. Well, Steve, uh, Fort Worth police say they're trying to put together every second of what led up to that shooting, whether the officers who responded to the call either went to the wrong house or they went there when they saw someone with a gun. Our officers were dispatched to a residential burglary alarm call, and for reasons that we don't know right now, uh, the officers ended up at the house across the street. That set in motion a tragic chain of events. Two police officers came across the homeowner, 72-year-old Jerry Waller. The homeowner was armed with a handgun, and officers feared for their lives, and they shot the homeowner. Waller died in his garage in the back of his house, overlooking the golf course and Casey Wright's house. We heard just five shots. It sounded like five, just bam, 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 bam. It was not a first shot and a return. It was just five immediate shots. At first light, Wright took pictures from his backyard. They show police investigators in Waller's garage, his body laying face down. We altered that part of the photo. It's too graphic to show. We can tell you Waller was only wearing pants, no shirt or shoes. Wright says he's ready to share the pictures with police, hoping it can bring it's some answers. This is more of a tragedy of errors that, that have happened here, and we just want to find out what happened. Former Fort Worth City Council member Becky Haskin lives a few doors down from the Waller family. She also heard the shots. They were just rapid fire, one right after another, and my husband said, that's a police officer. Everyone wonders what went wrong in a neighborhood that recently experienced a rash of burglaries. The neighbor across the street walked out and had a gun. I think he was also just doing what neighbors do, is checking on each other, and unfortunately he was shot. Haskin says Waller had been in the neighborhood for many years. They're just a nice retired couple that live there and, and love working in their yard and, you know, having family over and grandkids. They're just very wonderful neighbors that anybody would love to have. Police can't say if both officers fired at Waller or if Waller fired his gun, but say the officer they believe fired the shots has been a Fort Worth police officer for less than a year. They don't know yet why Waller was armed or why police went to his home. We know that it was a horrible tragedy for the family and for the officer and the officer's family involved. And we want to make sure that they know our citizens know that we're going to do a complete and thorough investigation and be completely transparent with it. Now, neighbors who know the family where the original alarm happened say that it did turn out to be a false alarm. Steve? Phil, I have a few questions, and I know you don't have the answers to all of them, so let's just walk through some of these. The, uh, the police representative said the officers felt in fear for their lives, or, or, or threatened at least. Do we know what form that took, other than this man just having a handgun? Do we know what form that took? As far as we know, it's because he had a handgun. Now, usually when officers, uh, you know, encounter that situation, if they have time to react, certainly they'll ask the person to put down the gun uh, and, uh, you, you know, so they can restore some kind of order and, and regain their safety, their, right. their feeling of, of safety and security. Whether the person didn't comply, we don't know. But they were right on him. See this picture here? That's where the cones are covering shell casings, and he was right in the ground. It was a very close exchange, I get the impression, right? It looks that way. Uh, we don't know uh, at this point, uh, you know, exactly where the shooting took place, but we know where uh, Mr. Waller ended up, right. and that is just inside his garage. And to get there, you have to actually go all the way down the side of the house. There's a driveway that goes all the way down the side of the house, and then the garage is actually in the back of the house uh, facing uh, the rear. And so we don't really know why the officers got there, because there's discussion, maybe the wrong house, whatever. Did did they ever get to the actual house where the alarm went off? Do we know that? 
Well, police say they don't know that, but, uh, you know, even though the family where the alarm uh, originated uh, wasn't available to us, somebody speaking for them told us that uh, uh, they looked out the window and saw police arrive, and at some point uh, they went directly to the house across the street. Mm. Whether that's because they saw Waller with a gun, that's part of the investigation. Uh, but police tell us that, as far as they know now, that the officers did follow uh, official police procedure, and they say that they did announce themselves as police officers. Okay. We hope to learn more in the days ahead. Phil Alvarado, Fort Worth Newsroom, thank you.